Hey, good evening, Valley Metal. Tonight we're going to start Chapter 7 uh, with our target finding the percentage of a number. But first, let's start off with our trivia question of the day. What is the highest spot above sea level on Earth? We'll get back to that question after our instruction tonight. Officially, our target is 7.1a. I can find the percentage of a number. Let's do this thing. Here's a real-life example of what we're going to do tonight. Marissa got a great deal on her new dance shoes. They originally priced at $60. Marissa paid only 75% of the $60. How much did she pay? Here's my question. 75% of $60 is how much? Well, the decimal for 75% is 0.75. So, if I take 0.75 times the 60, I get 45. Marissa paid $45 for those shoes. Is that a reasonable answer? Yeah, she didn't pay full price. She paid something less than that. All right, let's take a look at uh, the vocabulary word of the night. Percentage. That's the rate or amount in each 100. These are all percentages. 99%, 88%, 12%. Uh, tonight, we're going to be moving decimals two spots. When we move a decimal two spots to the left, we're dividing by 100. I've got it right down here. Moving decimal to the left divides. Two spaces is 100. Three spaces would be 1,000. So but tonight, it's always going to be two spaces. Moving the decimal two spaces to the right, that multiplies by 100. That's just a review. We're not going to do that tonight. Look at all of these division problems we're doing here. If I want to know what the per decimal is for 100%, I move it two spots to the left. I divide by 100, and I get 1.0. 99%, move it two spots to the left, I get 0.99. The decimal for 80%, move it two spots to the left, 0 0.80. Let's skip down to the bottom one where it gets tricky. 7%, we still move it two spots to the left, we divide by 100, put the placeholder in, we get 0 0.07. All right, before we try some problems, I want to make sure we understand what we're doing. So I have an understanding the target slide tonight. If you want to buy something that, let's say, cost $100, a pair of shoes, for example, and you pay 10% of that, you're only going to pay $10. If you pay 20%, like I've got my little thing here, you will pay $20. If you pay 40%, you'll pay $40. If you pay 50% of the 100, sorry, my thing didn't work there, 50%, you would pay $50. So percentages are always going to be something less than the entire price, as long as the percentage is less than 100, and that makes sense. If you pay 100% of something, you're paying full price. So, take a look at this. Here's our first problem of the night. We want to find out what 25% of 140 is. So, step-by-step -step instructions are, number one, divide by 100. That simply means move the decimal two spots to the left. Now, multiply that percentage times the number. Well, now I've got a decimal in here. My percentage has become a decimal. I multiply that by the original number of 140, and I'm going to get my answer. So 0.25 times 140 equals 35. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, you know, a half of 140 would be 70. So 35 as a quarter, that makes total sense. Now, you're going to be able to use a calculator on this target. And maybe I'll do that on the next problem so you can get the hang of it here. All right, our next problem. Work out your answer to this. Find out, find 30% of 21. Same steps. We divide by 100, so we move that decimal place on the percentage. Two spots to left. One, two. Our percentage has now come a, become a decimal. We multiply that decimal times whatever number we're trying to work with, which in this case is 21. So 0.3 times 21 equals 6.3. Here's my calculator hiding over here. So 0.3 times 21 equals 6.3. 
Number three, does your answer make sense? Well, yeah. One third of 21 is seven, so 0.3 is gonna be really close, and 6.3 is close. Let's take a look at one more example before I have you try a few of these on your own. Find 5% of 200. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. So again, first, we divide by 100. We move the decimal two spots to the left on the percentage. So here's the, where the decimal is on a percentage. It's always at the end. Move it two spots to the left to divide one, two, but we have to add a placeholder in there now. So we have 0 0.05 times 200. We just pop that into our calculator. 0 0.05 times 200. We get 10. Does our answer make sense? Well, yeah, it does, because 5% of 100 would be 5, right? So 5% of 200 will be double that, which is 10. Divide by 100 by moving the, uh, the decimal two spots to the left. Multiply that decimal then by the number. Check to see if your answer makes sense. All right, here are four, uh, five problems I'd like you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause and grab your calculator and try them. Go. I'm back. Let's see how you did. All right, the first one, 55% of 200. Well, 0.55, move that decimal. 0.55 times 200 is 110. 45% of 180. Again, divide by 100, move the decimal two spots to the left. You get 81. 5% of 155, 7.75. 63% of 200 is 126. 23% of 89, 20.47. How you doing? You get it? All right, remember those steps. Divide by 100 by moving the decimal two spots to the left. Multiply that decimal then times whatever number you're working with. Check to see if your answer makes sense. All right, here's your ticket to the show. Complete these two problems for tomorrow and bring them to me in class. What is 24% of 60? What is 75% of 124? All right, let's get to the trivia question of the day. What is the highest spot above sea level on Earth? Survey says, I bet you a lot of you knew the answer. It is Mount Everest, right here, the summit of Mount Everest. Mount Everest is 8,850 meters above sea level. So from the sea to the top of the summit of Mount Everest, 8,850 meters. And here's a picture of me when I summited Everest. You can't quite see my face because I'm dressed up there. No, that's not me. But that would be so bad apples if it was. All right. Have a good evening. Bye.